Ezekiel. Yeah, Ezekiel 21. The burden here, short burden, but I know it's a, a burden that we have to share about, brethren will come share, is to look at the nation of Israel. By looking at the nation of Israel, you know the, the timing that we are in. Uh, uh, who, 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 who is the nation of Israel? Nation of Israel? Who knows the nation of Israel? Where is it located? Here. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. My question is not. Nice. The nation of Israel I'm referring to is the one in Palestine. Okay. Hallelujah. Uh, where they have, uh, they have, we have the major towns there is Tel Aviv, then we have Jerusalem. That's what I'm referring to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you look at Israel, you can know the mind of God. You can know the time that we are in. Amen? 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 Amen. Amen. So we are looking at the nation of Israel in Palestine. Uh, and it's in the Bible. Uh, where did I say we should turn to? Ezekiel. 21. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 21. Let me look for it. Ezekiel was prophesying. Um, and he, he mentioned some things that are uh, chapter 21, verse six, 25, 26, 27. Remember, we learned that Ezekiel ate the scroll. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he was told to prophesy. So, Ezekiel. Hallelujah. 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 So, uh, the, we are unfaithful. Go. So, God has to issue our judgment. Hallelujah. Um, uh, so, if, if, as I'm sharing, you have a question, just ask me. Uh, uh, the, this this uh, recording is not necessary to 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 the wall. It's to us. We have to get fed and strengthened. So anytime we can we can stop. Uh, so he said, "And thou profane wicked prince of Israel, whose day is come when iniquity shall have an end." Very specific. God says, "All this idolatry." wickedness that I've seen in Israel from the time of uh, Jeroboam and all that and all that all these kings, he said this iniquity God says this iniquity must stop Amen. hallelujah Amen. he said profane, that profane wicked prince of Israel whose day is come so it was a time of judgment for the nation of Israel okay, we're talking about the physical nation of Israel thus said the Lord God Remove the diadem. What's the diadem? What's the diadem? Diadem is the is the right or to, to, to diadem is not the crown. It's the small one. Uh, ladies, girls call it tiara or something. It's the one they put here. It shows that uh, the royalty. I can rule. I can reign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what he said. Remove the diadem. Take off the crown. The diadem. The crown. This shall not be the same. Exact him that is lowly. And what? And abase him that is high. Hallelujah. I will overthrow. Overthrow and overthrow it. And it shall be no more. Until. Until he come whose right it is. And I will give it him. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So, God says it will overthrow the nation of Israel. Right? We agree? Yes. And it, it is for a time period. Right? It's a time period. Until. So, the overthrow is a time period. Until. Until. Until he comes. Whose right it is. We can talk about that some other time. But in simple terms, the one whose right it is what is Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, not just Jesus, is head and body. It's his right. And what? I will give it. I will give, I will give it him. That means the, the right to rule will be now Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. We got that? We got that? Okay. We got that. So this we can find it in history. Very easy. You can find it in the prophecy of Daniel. 
You can find it in Daniel chapter 2. You can find it in Daniel chapter, chapter 6. Amen. 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 So we can find it in um, um, Second Chronicles chapter 36. So we'll go there. But before we go there, you see there's overthrow. There are three overthrows. He said, so God says he will overthrow the nation of Israel. And there will be no more, no kingship. Right? Right? He will take away the diadem. He will take away the crown. So a time came in the history of man where there was no rulership in Israel. Until, until he come, whose right it is. And I will give it Give it him. Hallelujah. 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 Do we understand so far? Yes. Understand? Okay. So, so in, the, in the economy of the world, God placed a judgment over Israel. Why? Because they were unfaithful. And that stretches until the time when, when, when the one whose right it is comes. So let's quickly read uh, Second Chronicles chapter... Second Chronicles chapter uh, thirty-six. Just read. I'll try and skip some verses, but Second Chronicles chapter actually is the last is the last of of Chronicles. The, the, the Chronicles is is written uh, to talk about what happened to the nation of uh, the, the the kings. So it's, it's actually the last the last uh, verse, the last uh, uh, chapter chapter. Second Chronicles chapter 36. So, overthrow, overthrow, overthrow. Three overthrows. And we see it here. The Israelites, God came into the Israelites, sending the Babylonians to overthrow Israel. And God did this in three consecutive times. Amen? Amen. We, we got that? Amen? So, Second Chronicles chapter 36. Uh, 36, chapter 36, we'll start from, yes, we'll start from 1, it's 1 to, 1 to 12, or 1 to 13. Then the people of the land took Jehoshaphat, the son of Joshua, Josiah, Josiah, and made him king in his father's stead in Jerusalem. Remember the word Jerusalem. The, the, the other nations have been, the nation of Israel divided into two. Kin, uh, two. The, northern, uh, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. So the, the other one we already lost. So it was just remaining Jerusalem and, and, uh, and uh, the rest part of their brethren that didn't go into captivity. Verse 2. And Joazra Joel, was 20 and 3 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 3 months in Jerusalem. Verse 3. And the king of Egypt put him down in Jerusalem and condemned the land in a hundred talents of silver and a talent of gold. And the king of Egypt made Eliakim, his brother, king over Judah and Jerusalem and turned his name into Joachim. And Nico. Nico took Joazar, his brother, and carried him to Egypt. So the, the, the judgment starts in, in verse 5. And Joachim was 20 and, uh, 20 and 5 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned seven, uh, and 11 years in Jerusalem. And he took and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, his God. Against him came up Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. And bound him in fetters and carried him what to Babylon. That's the first overthrow. First overthrow. Nebuchadnezzar also carried of the vessels of the house of the Lord to Babylon and put them in the temple of his God of uh, a temple at Babylon. Now the rest of the ass of Joachim and his abomination, which he did, and that which was found in him, behold, it is written in the book of the kings of Israel. And Judah and jo 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 Joachim, his son, reigned in his stead. And Joachim was eight years old when he began to reign, eight year old king. And he reigned three months and ten days in Jerusalem and did that which was even in the sight of God. And when the, and when the year was expired, King Nebuchadnezzar sent and 
brought him to Babylon, the second of our throne, with goodly vessels of his house and of the Lord. And Zedekiah, his brother, king over Judah and Jerusalem. And Zedekiah, verse 11, was one and 20, 20 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, his God. And stumbled not and not and humbled not himself before Jeremiah the prophet. So at that time period, Jeremiah was also prophesying, okay, and speaking, uh, speaking from the mouth of the Lord. And he also rebelled against, rebelled against King, uh, King Nebuchadnezzar, who had made him swear by God. But he stiff, stiffened his neck and hardened his heart from turning unto the Lord God of Israel. Moreover, okay, then, then, he said in verse, uh, no, let me continue reading. Moreover, all the chief priests and the people transgressed very much after all the abomination of the hidden and polluted the house of the Lord, which he had hallowed in Jerusalem. And the Lord God of uh, their fathers sent unto them by his messengers, rising up bare times and sending, because he, he had compassion on the people and on his dwelling. But they mocked the messengers of God and despised his word and misused the prophets until the wrath of the Lord rose against the people, until there was no remedy. Therefore, he brought upon them the king of the Chaldeans, who slew their young men with the sword and the house of their, of, of their sanctuary and had no compassion until the young men and the young maiden, old men, and him that stood for age, he gave them all into his hand. And all the vessels of the house of the Lord, great and small, the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the king and of his princes, all that, all, all this he brought to Babylon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me stop there. Okay, let me read, let me not stop there. Let me read verse 21. To fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah, until the land had enjoyed her Sabbaths, for as long as she lay waste, he kept, she kept the Sabbath to fulfill three score and ten years. Hallelujah. So, okay. So what we see here is that God overthrew the nation of Israel. There may be Jews in that, in that uh, Jerusalem and all that, but there was no kingship. There was no crown. The crown and that was it. So, so we see a time period a time period when there was no rulership until whose right it is, I will give it him. So there was a time period. Okay, uh, let's talk about some history. When, when did uh, the nation of Israel became a nation? When did they become a nation recently? Eh? 73? 68. Okay, okay. Uh, all our answers are right. All our answers are right. <laughs> yes, all our answers are right. 1948, Israel became a nation after being killed, 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 killed. Uh, um, uh, Hitler did, did his own and all, but all are all judgment of God. God says He will deal with them, deal with them, deal with them, deal with them, all through the years. Okay, so in 1948, they set up uh, uh, the Council of the Nations. They set up. Uh, um, uh, a body and they made Israel a nation. So since that time they have been fighting, fighting. Uh, what is the six, the six day war? Yeah. Six, the, Golan eh? uh, the Golan Heights. The Golan Heights was uh, 1973. That was the Yom Kippur War. The, but the six day war was uh, uh, Israel attacked Egypt and all that. But it was in the six day war they captured Jerusalem. Amen? Amen? <laughs> During the sixth day, they captured Jerusalem. So Jerusalem was now under their rule. But they, they, they proclaimed Jerusalem the capital of the eternal, that's what they said, the eternal capital of Israel in 1980. Hallelujah. But 1976 was the Yom Kippur War. Hallelujah. The Day of Atonement. So all through this time, God, Israel was desolate. There was no kingship. There was no rule. Hallelujah. So let's, let me start uh, uh, 
uh, just trying to. So let's go back to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 21. Just want to. Ezekiel 21 says, verse uh, seven, uh, 27, says, I will overthrow, overthrow, over, overturn, I will overturn, over, overturn, overturn. And, uh, and eat and, and overturn it, and it shall be no more. Until, until, so when Israel is becoming a nation again, that means there's a great activity upon the earth. Are we getting it? Yeah. And that's the purpose of all this history. It means that until it comes whose right it is. That means when you start seeing the nation of Israel as a nation now, because they were scattered, there was nothing like Israel until uh, it's just that Jews here, Jews here, Jews here, Jews here, everywhere. There was Jews in Nigeria. There was Jews in South Africa. There were Jews scattered all over the world. Amen? Amen? So when they are becoming a nation, when the overthrow ends, that means it's an indication that there's a great activity upon the earth of what, whose right it is. Hallelujah. Amen. We get that? We get that. Okay, so let me use other scriptures to quickly explain this. How many kingdoms have we had? Have, have we had and still have that is ruling over the world? A worldwide kingdom? No, not communism. Rome. Okay, Rome. That's uh, that's uh, the uh, the Roman Empire. Greece. No, not America. America. No. Greece. 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 Persian. Persian. Okay, so the image that Revel, uh, Daniel chapter 2, the image that uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar saw, he saw the, 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 the gold. Then after gold, he saw silver. After silver, he saw bronze. After bronze, he saw iron and clay. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, in the days of these kings, shall, what, shall God set up a kingdom. He said he saw a stone without hands that crushed that, that image on the feet, and everything was destroyed. In implication shows that the, 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 Roman, the Babylon Empire is still in existence. Every, they are still in existence. They are active, but they are not ruling all over. They are not exercising power. So, but the only one we see now is the clay and what? And the, the, sun, uh, the, the clay and the iron. Hallelujah. Right? Uh, so, in throughout the history, we have seen that the first kingdom that over that over, that we see that took over Israelite were what was Babylon. After Babylon, Babylon was taken over by the Medes or Persia. Then it was taken over by what the Greeks. Then it was taken over by what by the Roman, and the Roman became from uh, uh, political Rome. It became religious Rome. Hallelujah. And we see the tentacles. So you see from. Uh, 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 Roman political to uh, Roman Papa. So we see that structure seen in place. Hallelujah. Okay. But we see in 1948 the what? The establishment of the nation of Israel. Let's go to uh, what? Let's look at Luke chapter 21. What Christ said. Saying a lot of history, but it's just to give us an idea of the time that we are in so that we can more focus. The one whose right it is. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 21. There's a lot to be said. And uh, God will grant not just me, the brethren, to unfold these things so that uh, we, 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 we will better know how to pray and how to seek the Lord. Luke chapter 21. It's, it's amazing. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure where I will start here, but uh, <laughs> um, but the scripture I'm going for is in. Uh, I'll start from 25. Uh, no, I'll not start. I'll start. Uh, okay, let me start from verse verse 15. Let's start from 15, please. Uh, 15. I'll try not to comment a lot, but uh, for 
uh, 15 says, For I will give you a mouth and a wisdom which all your adversaries, which all your adversaries will not be able to gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both of parents and of brethren, kings, foes, and of friends. And some of you shall be put, shall, and some shall be caused to be put to death. Verse 17, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Uh, the, the men there is in italics. Uh, italics. So ye shall be hated by, of all uh, for my name's sake. Um, verse 18, but they shall not and hair of your hair perish. So if your hair does not perish, will your body perish? Okay, so it's beautiful. For in your patience, in your patience possess your soul. And when you shall see Jerusalem, right? Brethren, listen. Yeah. Physical Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Okay? Physical Jerusalem. And when you shall see Jerusalem encompassed with armies. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That is when uh, it started in uh, 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 AD. AD. Four years before AD 64, 64. You can read it in history. There's a history book, Josephus wrote it. History. He saw literally Jesus Christ has won them. When you see the abomination in the holy place, flee to the mountains. Okay. So when they now saw that Jerusalem was encompassed with armies, he said, they know that the desolation is at hand. Then let them that are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let them which are in the midst of it depart not. Depart out, sorry. Depart out and let them that are in the countries enter there, uh, enter there unto. Verse, let, not. let not them. So, thank you. Let me read that again. Let them which are in the midst of it depart out. Let not them that are in the countries enter there into verse 22 for these are the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled but woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck so when you are reading this in this as i'm sharing now don't think it's talking <laughs> symbolically it's talking about when you see the 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 romans they are in the holy place you know something's about to happen uh -huh. So physically, one. That's why. And in fact, God gave them a space of four years. Because when General Titus now came in AD 70, everybody that was in that city was all dead. BC, 1.1 million Jews killed. Okay, so he gave them enough time. Let, for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon these people. Remember at this time period, who is ruling? The Empire of Rome. Right? Rome? It was Rome ruling when Jesus Christ came, right? Yes. Give unto Caesar what is Caesar and give unto God what is God. So it was a worldwide empire. So it still continues. And they shall be, they, verse 24, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations, scattered. In, they went to uh, German, they went to UK, they went to, they were scattered all over the world. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down. Brethren, Look at this scripture very well. They shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive. What? Into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until, until, until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Hallelujah. Amen. So, who are the Gentiles? Okay. Yes, in, that, in, the, in the context of the Bible, there were two nations. The Israelites and the wall of mankind that were not saved. They didn't have covenant. So all those people, they were trodden down. The, even the, the person, the, the country that had rule over Israel at 1948 was uh, the, the British. The British had that territory. Uh -huh. So it was trodden down by the Gentiles of until, until the time. So the times of the, times of the Gentiles' fulfillment is what? It's from when the Israelite was overthrown. Uh, overthrown. Uh, the last king that was overthrown, as we read, is Zedekiah. Zedekiah straight until 1948. That is the times of the Gentiles. See, a, a huge block. 
Okay, so uh, we can say prophetically and by scriptures that the times of the Gentiles talk about the Roman Empire, the, uh, the Medes Persian, the Greeks, uh, uh, I missed one, the, the Babylon, Babylon, a Medes Persian, the, the Romans, then we see the, 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 the Greeks, then we see the, the religious Rome until, differential until what, 1948. So, it is important that the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Let's keep on reading. Okay, he said, after that, after that, he said in verse 25, and there shall be sign in the sun. So, after 1948, you start seeing verse 25 being fulfilled. The signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations. And perplexity, the seal and the wave rolling. Men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Not will be shaken, but shall be shaken. Then he said, And then shall they see the Son of Man coming with cloud. With power and great glory. So we see in Ezekiel, he said, Until he comes, whose right it is. Hallelujah. Okay, so, and he shall come with, with cloud, with power and great glory. And when these things begin to happen, to, to, uh, to come to pass, then look up, lift up your head for your redemption, dry nine. In the next five minutes, I will try and stay on this scripture and just explain further. Verse 29. Verse 29. And he spake to them a parable. Behold the fig tree. And what? And all the trees. There's a fig tree. There's all the trees. Brethren, there's a fig tree. There's all the trees. He said, and when they now shoot forth. When they now shoot forth. Ye see and know of your own self that summer is nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know, that's, that's the trust this today, when ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of Hallelujah. God is nigh at hand. In the name of Jesus. Uh, he's not talking about, uh, because at this time, he has already been preaching. Behold, the kingdom is at hand. So he's talking about the establishment of the kingdom. Until it comes whose right it is. The Christ head and body. And I will give it him. Hallelujah. So he's saying, uh, 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 know, ye, know ye that the kingdom of God is at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away. My world shall not pass away. Amen. Who is the fig tree? Israel. Okay. Can we show by scripture? <laughs> because I want to convince everybody. So let's look at John chapter 1. Chapter 1. So the fig tree is Israel. Hallelujah. Uh, John chapter 1. We will read there from verse 43. John chapter 1, 43. The day following, Jesus would go forth into Galilee and find Philip and said unto him, Follow me. Now, Philip was of Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. And Philip findeth Nathanael and said unto him, We have found him whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of, of Joseph. And Nathanael said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said unto him, Come and see. Remember the word come and see in the book of Revelation? Come and see. Jesus, said, um, Jesus, say, saw, uh, Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said unto him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no God. And Nathanael said unto him, Where knowest thou me? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called thee, 
when thou wast under the fig tree, I saw thee. Natalia answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the Son of God, thou art the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I said unto you, I saw thee under the fig tree. Believest thou? Thou shalt see greater things than this. And, and he said unto him, Verily, I, verily I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. See the train? So Israelites were the fig tree. He said, I saw you under the fig tree. Let's convince ourselves further. Luke chapter, chapter 12. As we begin to round up. I know in the past days we just we have been or weeks we have been laying foundation. God, God we God we we make this, this thing plain. <laughs> plain. So that so that he that readeth it what what may run. Hallelujah. Okay, there's a there's a there's a, a situation that happened here. Uh, Luke chapter 13, verse 6. Luke chapter 10. He spake of, of he speak this he, he spake also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in the vineyard. What? He came and sought fruits thereon and found none. Hmm. Then he said, then he, then said he unto the dresser of this vineyard, Behold, these three years I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why cumber it the ground? And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I dig about it and dug it. And if you bear fruit, well, and if not, then after thou, thou shalt cut it down. And he, and he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. Okay, there's much to be said. But let's say, Jesus Christ came to the Israelites. Three years, he ministered, 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 ministered. He didn't find fruit. So he said, okay, let's cut it down. No, he said, no, don't cut it down yet. Let's give him manure and wait for another year. And the time Israel was cut down was what? In AD 70. They were overthrown, swept out. So it was perfect. And in another scripture, he said, he was passing through the land and he saw a fig tree and he thought he would get fruit from the fig tree. There was no fruit. And he cursed the fig tree. So remember, he didn't uproot the fig tree. He cut it down. That fig tree will grow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is salvation meant for the Jews. Hallelujah. He said, there is minute rest for the people of God. The, the Jews. Hallelujah. So we see the fig tree as what? As the Jew. But not only the fig tree. He said, Behold the fig tree and the other trees. There's other trees. So prophetically, the nation of Israel is vital. Vital in understanding God's purpose. In the past few days, I've been watching, uh, watching the, the, the six-day war. Amazing. On the, on the second day, yes, on the second day, they ran into Jerusalem and took over the place. Hallelujah. So it's significant. Uh, we, we, you may say, okay, 1940, you may say 1967, Six Day War, or you might say, okay, the Yom Kippur War, or even 1980, it doesn't matter. But those are time periods where God what, has, has stopped and has ended, ended, ended the times of the Gentiles. The times of the Gentiles he has ended it. So it is significant to know that it is this time period that God said, whose right it is, and I will give it him. So, in, in, the, in the coming of the Lord, in the coming of the Lord, there's, there's something very significant. Is that we see the nation of Israel overthrown and we see God's judgment upon the world. But he also tells us that it is in that time period that God established his kingdom. Okay, he said the, the stone cut out with her hand shall smote the image. And what will happen? The stone will, will grow and grow and grow and become an exceedingly great mountain. Hallelujah. Let me start rounding up. Uh, there's, uh, there's much to be said. Uh, let me. In uh, Luke chapter 21 again. Verse 34. It said, Take heed of yourselves. Hmm. 
Take heed of yourselves, least at any time. Luke 21, chapter 21, verse 34. Take heed of yourself, least at any time your heart be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And that day come to you unawares. For as a snake shall it come to all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Hallelujah. Uh, brethren, where, where does Christians dwell? The heaven. Hallelujah. So any person that is spiritual and studying the Bible and fellowshipping and communion, it will not take them unawares. Hallelujah. It won't be a snare. It won't be, it won't be just overrun. Hallelujah. Broken. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Watch ye therefore. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. It is those that stand before the Son of Man that become like the, stand of the Son of Man. Hallelujah. So we see in verse 24 that until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So, so we see in this time period is a special time of God's presence. Amen. A time of God's presence actively working. Hallelujah. Actively working because a stone must of a necessity smote the image of the beast. Smote that image. A stone must be smote. So we know that the lease God has given to uh, the nations or the Gentiles to rule over the world has ended. Right? We believe that? Yes. yes, we know it has ended because the, the timing is determined, is, the, it, 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 is, is told us by what happened to the fiscal nature of Israel, by what happened to the fig tree. We see the timing. He said, You should watch the out for the fig, it will shoot forth. We see the, the, fig, the fig shooting forth. We see Israel becoming a nation. We see them ruling over themselves in spite of all the enemies around them. Egyptians, Syrian, Jordan, Iraq, Iran, they are strong in nation. They are marching forth. As we see that, we know that there is something special for the nation of Israel. Now, the nation of Israel, the spiritual Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So, uh, I said we should turn to somewhere. Okay, yes. I didn't say it, but it was going through my mind. Uh, Malachi. The book of Malachi. Verse 5. Malachi chapter 4, verse 5. There's different way I was, I've been meditating for the past two days. There's different penetrations. You can look at this as, look at the nation of Israel and Treasures just, just open for you. Or you can look at what God said concerning Elisha, Elijah and Elisha. Or you can look at uh, what God said to Daniel and all that. You can pick up various truths and so that our faith, our confidence is very firm. <laughs> so the, if you look at uh, Ezekiel that we read, uh, that he, uh, until he come, the timing that we are in now, until he come, Whose right it is. Hallelujah. That's the timing we are in. Because they have overthrow, overthrow, but until the time, until he comes, whose right it is, and I will give it him. Hallelujah. In, in Malachi, he said, Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and, and, and the heart of the children unto the fathers. Least I come and smite the earth with a curse. Hallelujah. So, so in, uh, in uh, just concluding, uh, we, we know that it is this time period. Okay? Another day, we we'll, we'll trust, look at what Elijah means. It is this time period that there is before the coming, the coming of the great day and dreadful day of the Lord is the time God is, is going to overthrow the, power, the, the, the kingdom of this world. Amen. Okay? Amen. Uh, the, the, the Bible says Christ come, is coming with the clouds of heaven. Hallelujah. The shaking of the heavens, the overthrow of civilization in, in their context. Because the kingdom of this world 
He said it in another scripture in uh, uh, Luke chapter 21. We read it. He said, this heaven, this heaven and earth shall what? Pass away. Not may pass away. No. We shall pass away. In the name of Jesus. He's not talking about the physical heaven. He's not talking about the physical earth. He's talking about what? What comprises the heavens? The sun. The moon. The stars. That we see. He said the sun shall be darkened. The moon shall not give her light. So, the heavens, God is going to judge all things that speak of false religion, false rule, false government, the powers of darkness. God is going to overthrow them. The Hallelujah. So, he said, the heavens and the earth, uh, the earth, the, the system of things, of corruption, of, 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 uh, of, of uh, moral, moral failure, of, uh, of dying and death. Of perpetual bad laws, bad government, bad. So God's going to change all them. He said this will happen before the coming of the day of the Lord. Before the coming of the great and dreadful day, there will be Elijah. Many multiple Elijahs, not just one person, not two person. Lot of people. The greater Elijah. He said, "I will send Elijah, and he shall prepare the way before me." Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Jesus Christ doesn't come alone. He said he comes with clouds yes. of heaven. So he's not going to come alone. He's not going to be, uh, like uh, uh, suddenly he comes and I don't know. Okay? Or suddenly he comes, you don't know. Suddenly Jesus Christ comes, the church doesn't know. No, no, not that. The church knows because he's coming with the church. Yes. Uh-huh. To bring forth judgment. The stone that was caught with our hands yes. is not, he said, the, the kingdom of God. So the stone, remember, we are what? Are we, are, are we are lively stones? Yes, lively. So he's talking about Christians. It is that stone that struck the image. Yes. As one of our brothers said, the people that will trumpet in, the messengers that will be trumpeting, the angels that will be trumpeting are not uh, angelic beings, but they are human beings. Yes. Trumpeting the trumpet. You see, at the sounding of the seventh trumpet, the kingdom of this world becomes the kingdom of our God Amen. and of his Christ. Amen. So there's multiple Elijahs. Before, so God is going to send, there will be a massive revelation of his word. A massive revelation of his truth. A massive revelation of his, of his uh, personality in the church. Yes. Men shall be changed. Men shall be transformed. Yes. M- multiple. There are scriptures to explain all that. If, so God's word shall be rich, shall be full in the church. Because these are the, the, the times of the Gentiles have passed. These are the times Christ is available. He, uh, it, until he comes whose right it is. Hallelujah. So it is his right to take the kingdom. Yes. It is his right to exercise dominion over the earth. Amen. It is his right to exercise his will. Hallelujah. So before the great and dreadful do so there will be terrible judgment. Uh, the world call it the day of judgment. Uh, some people call it Armageddon and all that. So there will be judgment upon the earth. There will be judgment. There will be judgment. The people of God are they, are they going to run away? No. Because so on, as God was judging the world, Noah was what? In the ark. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we see that God will judge. So the time period we are in now are very, very, very important periods. Huh. Very important. These are days where Christ has come to take the kingdom. Amen. He has come to, so he's fashioning people. No, so that's why we are not surprised. People are going out of Babylon. It's also, it's, there's a lot of things. He said, the, the faithful servant, it will give more. The same time period. So God is judging the system and is pulling his people out. So let's start praying. I was thinking we would have time for questions, but there will be time for questions. Don't be writing your questions down. I think that's the best, be writing down. So let's start praying. And the, the word you should pray about is this. Um, um, I read it. I read it. Let's start praying. Hallelujah. He said, take heed of yourself. Least at any time your heart is overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and cares of this life. That the day come unto you unawares. Watch ye therefore. Say, God, let me be watch. Let me be watchers. Let me be able to watch. Let me be able to pray always. Let me be able to pray always. Let me be able to worship you. Let me be able to praise you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.